Oh my gosh, it's coming right into us. Oh my gosh, that's insane. Um, holy. Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild, and today we have another viewer requested video, this time by Jackson Rogers, and today's video, as you can see by the comment, is a long range iron sights hunt, and I think this is going to be a lot of fun, I haven't really tried this very recently, so this is definitely going to be interesting. And that appeared that I might have missed. Yeah, I definitely missed. Well, we're already off to a great start, to say the least. I don't know if either of those hit either. <laughs> well, this is going to be an interesting day of hunting, to say the least, guys. Now, it did say to do a long range iron sights hunt, but honestly, I'm not really sure what he classifies as long range, so... I guess I'm just gonna try and do as far as I can. Uh, as you can see though, at 150 meters, we had quite a few issues, so... Not really sure where we're gonna be going out to for these shots. I'm wondering if 120 or 130 will be a little bit easier. I'm also starting to wonder if maybe I was using the iron sights incorrectly. Because the 243's iron sights are a little odd. As you can see, there is kind of like that ring around the outside, and then you have the two larger ones along with the little dot in the middle of the front sight. And I'm not really sure which spot you're supposed to aim with. It's kind of an odd sight, but I mean, we'll see what we can make out of it. Alright, so this guy right here is alert. 137, this is a mixed goat, so that's pretty awesome. If he goes broadside, there he is. I don't know if that hit or not. I'm not sure if that hit. <laughs> this has been an interesting, uh, interesting hunt already, to say the least. Yeah, I don't think that even came close to hitting it. I'm not seeing any blood at all. Not off to a great start. I also forgot to mention that we will be using a variety of weapons today, because I want to see how each of the iron sights, uh, works with the long range shooting. So that's going to be kind of cool. Let's get this guy to calm down. 138. Let's see if we can get this. That looked to be pretty good. Uh, it was not, though. That was a hit, though. Now, I don't think there's anything too notable out of these pigs, so we'll probably just try to get another on the run. And, well, we got that shot, so that's good at least. Well, it does look like we ended up getting both of them, so that's good. This guy right here is the one that we only put one shot into, and he died pretty quickly. 71.60, pretty much dead on, to be honest, so I'm pretty happy with that one. I'm liking the way the irons are on the 30-06. They actually work pretty good. Oh, wow, the first one that we killed actually is barely any further away than that one. Oh, that's why. We got thoracic vertebrae. So we were slightly high on this one. Probably because it was a little bit under 150 and we aimed a little bit high, so... That explains why we hit the vertebrae. But I mean, either way, it brought it down. So... I guess that's not as bad as it could have been. At least we nailed the second one. Alright, well that right there is a pretty good sized level 4 Sika deer. I think for this one, we're gonna try the 270. I don't use this gun too often anymore, so... I don't remember what the irons are like, and... You know, honestly, those are some solid iron sights, so... Uh, let's put the scope on just so we can spot this thing. Uh, it makes it a lot easier if I can spot them with the scope to get the highlight. And there we go. Let's get a shot into this. I think the second shot got it. The first one for sure missed. And the second one hit it, but it was not a good shot, so... We might try another one. You know, it's honestly a lot harder to hit shots with the iron sights than I initially expected it to be, so... 
Yeah. It's interesting to say the least. But honestly, I'm liking it so far. It's a nice little change of pace, something fun to do. So that sea Kadir has not died yet, and honestly, I'm not sure if it even will die, so we might end up just moving on, to be honest. I don't really see it worth going after this guy, but if this female gives us a shot, we might take her since... Oh, yep, there we go. Perfect. Well, we ended up getting a Sika in the end. Actually, we got two Sika. Nice. They're both females, but better than nothing. And yeah, 270 is actually not too bad on these guys. That was a double lung shot, and it dropped it in its place. That's honestly impressive. I did not expect that from the 270, so that's actually really cool. Wow, intestines, pelvis, stomach, liver, and it dropped it almost. It was really close to dropping it. This thing only ran like maybe three seconds. So honestly, I'm impressed with the damage on the 270 against these Sika deer. It's actually not bad at all. The iron sights aren't super great for long range, but they did okay at these shorter ranges, so that's nice. That right there is a really big level 4 feral goat. That thing's actually huge. But it definitely does not look like a diamond, so honestly, I kind of expect that. A lot of these bigger level 4s and even a lot of the 5s just don't quite make it, and this one appears to be the same, and I guess we walked too far in the water, but as I was saying, this does appear to be probably on the lower end of that estimate. A lot of these goats that look like this, when they have the horns pointing straight up towards the tips, they usually score pretty low 200, so don't have very high hopes for this guy, but you never know. Maybe we will get lucky. However, no matter what it scores, we still have to make a good shot on it, so let's hope this doesn't go terribly like it did with the first Sika deer or with the pigs or <laughs> the first coats that we found. It's uh it's been interesting to say the least, some of these shots that I've missed on these guys, but this definitely does appear to be a smaller goat, so even if we do screw it up, it won't be too big of a loss, and oh my gosh, the 223 has awful iron sights. Absolutely terrible iron sights, my gosh. Well, <laughs> this is going to be harder than I expected it to be. I'm actually, <laughs> I'm actually not surprised we missed that. These iron sights are awful. My gosh, the 223 does not have good irons. Well, <laughs> I think we still have the 243 on us, so we could try to get close enough to do that, but this is going to be interesting. I mean, we hit something. I don't know which one we ended up hitting, though. I guess we'll try to find like a disturbed vegetation or something like that. We can try to figure out which one we ended up hitting. You know, honestly, this one is pretty close. Let's go ahead and try to take that out. Um, I think that was a miss. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to use the 223 anymore. That was a little bit strange, to say the least. Well, the first one that we shot ended up dying, so we're going to have to go track that down, and hopefully it wasn't that big level 4. If we screw that one up, that's going to be a little bit sad. We've got a turkey right there. I know this isn't going to get integrity, but i got to know. Um, we hit that turkey with a 223, and it didn't die immediately. Um, I don't know how to feel about that. The 223, <laughs> I honestly just don't know what to say about that. That was really bad. <laughs> 223 needs a major buff. Jeez. Well, it was the big one that we ended up screwing up, so... Not going to be a diamond even if it does score high enough, but I doubt it will. Yeah, 
it's a big one. Just not a diamond. But still a good looking goat. Well, I am extremely disappointed in the 223 to say the least. The fact that I was able to shoot a turkey midair with it and it still not drop it, it, I think that speaks wonders on how much the 223 needs to be buffed. They need to make this gun better because in real life, a 223 would not be this weak. And I feel like in Call of the Wild, it's extremely underpowered. And I mean, even in Classic, it could drop a goat way quicker than it can here in Call of the Wild. And honestly, I think they need to completely rework the 223 because it's just not in a good place. But anyway, here's that turkey that we ended up smoking with the 223. And yeah. I mean, we hit it in the wing to be fair, but the 22 kills them quicker with a wing shot than that did. So yeah, not good. Definitely not good. That is a beautiful looking red deer stag. 160 meters away, it is a level eight mythical. Up to 261 on the estimate. This guy should probably be around the 230s mark, if I were to take a guess. But let's see if we can get slightly closer and then get a shot into it. I'm not sure if I'm going to use the 30 6 or the 6.5. I'm thinking of using the 6.5 since we already used the 30 6 on the pigs. And honestly, the 6.5 has some of the best iron sights in the game, in my opinion. These things are extremely clean, very easy to aim with. So we should be able to nail this guy. Well, I decided that since we have the opportunity to do it in this spot, let's jump into the tree stand for this kill. We'll zero into 75 and that should be good enough to take this guy down. So let's get him to lift his head up and ooh, there he is. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Well, <laughs> that's not what I expected to see coming over here. Well then, <laughs> diamond red deer with iron sights. I think that's what we're about to do. Oh my gosh, it's coming right into us. Oh my gosh, that's insane. Um, holy. I think we got it. I think that should be good. Oh my gosh, we got it. Yes. 262 to 308. This very well could be one of my biggest red deer because that is big rack. Oh my gosh. What an insane thing to find over here. I was perfectly happy with going for that level 8 and then a level 9 just comes out of nowhere. That was absolutely awesome. Honestly, couldn't have been a better time. That's so cool that we got to take it with iron sights on the 6.5. Absolutely awesome. And it's in their feeding zone nonetheless, so that's even cooler to be honest. It's not every day that you get to take a level 9 red deer with iron sights from a tree stand in their feeding zone. That is super cool. My gosh, look at the rack on this thing. Holy. Well, let's go ahead and get a couple pictures of this guy and then we will claim him. Honestly, can't really get the best pictures, but I mean, that right there looks pretty insane. So let's just go ahead and pick this guy up. My gosh, what a giant. 266.70. I think this might be my biggest red deer ever. This very well could be the biggest one that I've ever killed. Because my previous record was 266, but I don't remember what the little uh, decimal at the end was. But I think this is my biggest red deer ever. That's insane. That is truly insane. Well, <laughs> what a fantastic time to find a giant red deer. I can't believe that. And we got a perfect shot on it. Right lung, left lung from 41 meters. Honestly, could not have been more perfect. Wow. <laughs> and... Since she's just going to get on top of us like that. I think I actually screwed that up. Wow. <laughs> so I can't make that shot, but I can make the one on the red deer. Or on the uh, level 9. <laughs> Sounds about right, to be honest. 
Well, that right there is a giant level 4 piebald fallow deer. That is really, really cool. Now, I was really hoping to find an albino fallow deer as our next rare, but I mean, can't really complain either way because a rare is a rare regardless. And honestly, this guy's a pretty good sized one, so we're probably going to try and get to about 150 and then take it with the iron sights on the 303. I want to make this a little bit more interesting, so <laughs> we are going to try to take it from at least 150 meters. So we are now at about 130 meters. I decided to go a little bit closer than 150 just to make sure that we don't screw this shot up because although I would like to uh, take this from a decent distance, at the same time I don't want to screw it up since it is a level 4 piebald and you really don't see those too often. So let's try to make sure we can actually nail this shot and not completely butcher him. So because of the angle this guy's at, we are going to have to try and get him to go alert. Which shouldn't be too hard, just go back and forth a little bit, and there we go. Now he is alerted. Also, an angry pig. You know, I don't know if this guy's going to cooperate the way we need him to. Maybe now we can get him to actually cooperate. This guy's being difficult, to say the least. I think that should be good. I think we should have got him with that. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we did. We dropped him on the spot. Honestly, I didn't realize we dropped him because I couldn't see him after we took that shot. It looked like he had ran off, but I guess he just dropped in a bush. So, I mean, that's kind of interesting. I did not expect that. But I mean, I guess that means we did make a good shot and that's what we were going for, so let's see. Uh, yeah, that definitely looks like we dropped him on the spot, so that is awesome right there. What a beautiful fallow deer. It took me ages to get my first piebald one, and now the last two rares that we've got for fallow deer have been a piebald, so that is pretty awesome. Let's go ahead and get this guy claimed. 171.50 we were actually high but we got middle neck I am honestly so lucky that that did not screw up wow that is actually kind of insane how close that was but we got him in the end and that's really all that matters but my gosh that was too close that was way too close well, I mean, this looks strange to say the least having them set up like this, but I decided we'd put our brand new diamond red deer right here on the wall with the other two diamonds that we have here. But honestly, I hate how this guy looks in the middle. It looks so out of place compared to the others. So I'm honestly contemplating on just taking it down and putting one of the other ones there. Which, honestly, I think that's what we will do. We will just put the piebald there instead. I think that's going to look a lot better, honestly. And yeah, that already looks way better. So, I guess we'll toss this guy maybe right here for now. He doesn't look quite as out of place there, at least. And then as far as the goat, I, I guess we'll put it up here since it was a mixed one. And then we'll just have to find other places to put the other stuff, but I'm liking the way this room is turning out. We just need to fill those other plaques right there. I don't know what we will end up putting there. Maybe some Sika Deer or Axis Deer. In fact, maybe Axis Deer would actually be best. So let's get those down. We will put these guys up here. You know what? Honestly, I really like the way that looks. That is an insane looking wall absolutely insane looking wall so I guess we'll toss up the Sika deer over here we don't really have anything too crazy in fact that one's actually a throwaway trophy but this is the one that we had over on that wall along with this little guy right there that we got during a live stream that's actually one of the cooler Sika deer that we've killed and I don't think that one will ever be in a video so I guess we'll just show it off here. This we actually got during a live stream and it's one of the cooler looking Sika deer racks that I've seen so far. 
I really hope that one can make diamond. I think it'd be really cool if it could. So I think for now we will take down the albino mule deer that we had there and put our fallow deer right here. And this guy's actually a little bit smaller than our last fallow deer pie ball that we got. I guess they were both level fours. I didn't remember the last one being a four, but I guess it was. This guy's actually slightly smaller, but I mean, still a four nonetheless. I'm really happy with what we've been getting for our fallow deer. We haven't found a ton of good fallow deer, but the ones that we have found have been really good. So can't really complain about that. Anyway, if you guys enjoy the video, be sure to hit that like button. It's a massive help in getting these videos recommended to more viewers. Also, if you're new to the channel and you're enjoying the content, consider subscribing. I do post daily videos along with five live streams a week, and you guys won't want to miss any of that. I do a ton of Call of the Wild and other games similar to this, so be sure to check me out during the live streams. But with all that being said, guys, thank you for watching, and I hope you all have a fantastic day. Peace.